Hey YouTube, I just made this cool new mnemonic on the drug uh, group Streptogramins. Um, I thought it might be cool to share it with the YouTube community because maybe you guys could get something out of this also. So, I got the Keebler Elf uh, graham crackers to represent Streptogramins. You can see there's a strip of graham crackers here. So that when we think of Streptogramins, to remember the information around that drug we need to just think of a strip of graham crackers in this box and it should remind us of a bunch of those features so let's start at the top here we got iv intravenous de uh, delivery so this keebler tree with the iv growing on it these are probably leaves but let's just say there it's iv can remind us that this drug is given via iv delivery and how it works is it keeps the 50s um, ribosomal subunit from translocating um, and this is a similar mechanism to the macrolides and clindamycin mode of action ribosome and um, what else do we got this yellow box can remind us that a side effect is going to be hyperbilirubinia uh, which course leads to jaundice so this yellow box can remind us of jaundice in addition uh, to his yellow trousers there and um, his green jacket could also maybe remind us of hyperbilirubemia and jaundice as sequelae of um, this drug side effect um, there's also a side effect of inflammation at the site of um, infusion infusion so you get this sort of red of uh, phlebitis and we can also remember this by his red hat it kind of looks somewhat like this red inflammation in this uh, anti-cubital fossa area so the the Keebler Elf's red hat reminds us of the phlebitis that is possible and this is why we slow down the infusion time and try and do it over a course of an hour that's another uh, reminder that this is done IV. The ELF can remind us of the drug name DALF, DALFOPRISTIN, which is one of the, um, it's in the group of the, of the streptogramins, and so one of these drugs is called the uh, DALFOPRISTIN, and the Keebler ELF can remind us of that, and his pristine graham crackers that he's proud to present to us um, are a reminder of Dalfopryst in the drug. And the fact that these are roasted crackers can remind us of the drug ending ros roastin. So quinuprostin, roastin, and these baked roasted crackers in some sense can remind us of that name. So if we see, um, say on a test, we see roastin, then we would think of these streptogram and crackers. And remember that this is a streptogram and all these other effects we're talking about. This golden honey staff here can remind us of its activity against Staph aureus. And that is, um, honey in itself is, as you may know, a antimicrobial. So that's kind of a fun association, but it has uh, antimicrobial agent activity against MRSA, VERSA, and vancomycin uh, resistant enterococcus. And it's not, not both of the, not fecalis, it is just fecium. So if you've ever eaten these, one way to remember that is fecium is that you can remember that you feast on them. So fecium, um, activity against fecium, enterococcus fecium, um, can be remembered by how you just, I don't know, me, I, I sometimes have eaten a whole lunch, just these crackers alone. You tend to feast on them when you uh, eat them at all. So fecium, enterococcus fecium. And another thing is the strepto, part of the name streptogramins can remind you of the activity against other, you know, streptococcus uh, bacteria. So we saw that in, we have Staph aureus, we have um, streptococci, and um, such as um, strep pyogenes, so streptogramins. Um, kind of 
part of the name reminds us of that activity. And then, as I said, with the feast, we feastium, um, enterococcus feastium, um, is a reminder there. His sort of 50s ribosomal body can also remind us of the mode of action of this drug. And the fact that he's sort of an older, you know, geriatric elf um, can remind us of the possibility of arthralgia and myalgia that we might expect in an old elf um, as a side effect of the um, administration of streptogramins. One other thing that might be worth notice, noting is the atypical pneumonias can be treated with uh, streptogramins. Not first line, but um, is possible. So infections, pneumonias such as chlamydia and legionella. So his red vest could be a reminder of that if you care to remember that. Um, and one last thing, let me just remind you that quinoprostin and dalfopristin, so these two drugs are kind of come as a pair because they are given um, as a pair because they work synergistically and give you a better response than if you had just um, to say the same gram dosage um, of them independently. Cool, that's my little mnemonic for streptogramins. Feel free to take a screenshot and share with your friends. I think this is going to be a good way for all of us to remember some of these um, features of streptogramins. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like if it helped you and subscribe to my channel. Cheers, guys. Have a great day.